Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 16 of 2018, amending some of the provisions of Decree 78 of 2016 regarding the reorganisation of the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. The Royal Decree stipulated the adding of a Directorate of Strategic Planning and Projects in the Ministry. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 6 of 2018 ratifying the amended agreement of dual tax avoidance and prevention of income tax evasion signed in Manama between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Thailand and dated 25th of April 2017. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 7 of 2018 ratifying the Aviation Services Agreement signed in Manama between Bahrain and Finland and dated 27th of March 2017. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Law 8 of 2018 amending Article 47 of Law 39 of 2002 regarding the State's general budget. The amendment stipulated the replacement of Article 47 of Law 39 of 2002 specifying the quarterly reports required from the Ministries and Government Directorates on their activities, financial status, progress and projects implementation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakir Palace this evening in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the US Secretary of Defence, James Mattis, who is currently visiting Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the US Secretary of Defence and the accompanying delegation and reviewed with them prospects of enhancing the historic relations between the two countries, affirming that these relations are based on mutual respect and trust as well as cooperation and coordination in all fields. His Majesty the King hailed the strategic relations and close partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America, and the progressing bilateral cooperation and progress in all fields, especially with regard to military and defence coordination, as friends and allies bonded with deep historical ties. His Majesty expressed his pride in working together in many noble tasks for peace and security in the region. His Majesty underlined the role of the US administration along with the coalition and friendly states in enhancing peace and security in the region and maintaining international peace, noting Bahrain's support to these efforts. His Majesty the King affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is on the path of development, modernisation and progress in all fields, he expressed his pride in the spirit of solidarity, cohesion and respect for all religions and sects. His Majesty praised the role played by the American community in Bahrain and its contribution in all fields through the history of Bahrain, and that they welcome the people of Bahrain with respect. For his part, the US Secretary of Defence expressed his appreciation for His Majesty's efforts to strengthen relations of friendship and mutual cooperation, praising the role of the Kingdom of Bahrain as an important partner in supporting and promoting regional and global peace and stability. During the meeting, they exchanged views and topics of mutual interest, as well as an events in the region. His Majesty the King hosted a dinner in honour of the US Secretary of Defence and an accompanying delegation.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, issued Edict 8 of 2018, transferring Hamid Juma al Fazari as Director of Engineering and Investment Services in Northern Governorate, and Khalid Abdul Latif Haji as Director of Engineering and Investment Services in Southern Governorate. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, issued Edict 9 of 2018, appointing Ali Shiba Jawad Hassan as Director of Precious Metals and Gemstone Testing in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today the previous session's President of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, Khalid Abdul Rahman al Mayyad, and the current session selection's winner. Samir Abdullah Nas, in the presence of senior officials and a number of businessmen. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government considers the Chamber a partner in achieving developmental goals, expressing confidence in the elected Board of Directors to enhance the Chamber's performance. He expressed the government's appreciation for the role of the traders and businessmen in the economic march, noting the government's keenness on facilitating the private sector's contribution to the development march. The Prime Minister asserted the government's support to the BCCI's role in aiding traders and preserving their interests, urging to support the unity of trade decision and increase its effectiveness. He expressed thanks and appreciation for the previous Board of Directors' efforts and contribution to representing and supporting trader interests. He hailed the professionalism of the Board of Directors' elections witnessed, which reflects the excellence of the organisation. His Royal Highness stated the Kingdom's economic development and progress are a result of the efforts of successive generations of traders, businessmen and investors. He asserted that enhancing the partnership between the government and private sector represents a vital aspect of developing growth rates in all sectors. For his part, the BCCI previous session's president commended the continuous support of His Royal Highness to the Chamber. The current session's election winner also praised His Royal Highness's support to the commerce movement traders, businessmen in all their activities. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Rifa Palace today the US Secretary of Defence, James Mattis. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the strategic Bahraini-US relations in light of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the United States, Donald Trump. His Royal Highness noted the cooperation between the two countries and the military alliances which contributed effectively to maintaining the peace and security in the Middle East. He also hailed their joint commitment to cooperate with other friendly and brotherly countries to face all challenges at the forefront of which is terrorism. The meeting also discussed issues related to defence and military cooperation and coordination between the two countries. In line with His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's keenness on communicating with all the people of Bahrain, His Royal Highness received at his weekly majlis at Reef Palace members of the Royal Family, ministers, members of representative and shura councils and municipalities, a number of clergymen, diplomatic corps members, academic, intellectual and media characters, as well as a number of community members. His Royal Highness welcomed the guests at his majlis, which embodies the communication principle that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is keen to maintain. The guests hailed the keenness of His Royal Highness to meet with citizens and communicate with them, and the connecting platform the majlis represents, which embodies the true Bahraini identity, noting the efforts of the leadership in enhancing the foundations of sustainable development to achieve further progress and prosperity for the Kingdom.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the third edition of Art Bahrain Across Borders Fair, Art Bab 2018, held under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Pre Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre. His Royal Highness noted the comprehensive development witnessed by Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, focuses on the cultural aspects and encourages art and creativity. The Kingdom honours such artists in recognition of their efforts and promoted Bahrain as a touristic, cultural and artistic destination. His Royal Highness hailed the efforts of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika and her support to the fair and for holding the event annually in Bahrain to exchange experiences and promoting the work of Bahraini artists. He praised the Bahraini artist's ability to present the history of Bahrain in a modern way. His Royal Highness praised the efforts exerted in organising the fair, which includes the participation of Bahraini artists in addition to a selection of international artists. The Art Bahrain Across Borders programme includes a number of educational lectures, musical performances and workshops for children.
International artists and galleries gathered from across the globe to be part of the Art Fair Art Bob 2018. The event interacts with the art from all over the world, as well as local Bahraini artists who embrace Bahrain's cultural heritage and its rich history. Art Bob uh, provides an invaluable platform for me as an artist personally, for Bahraini artists in general and for um, international artists to come to Bahrain and show what they have to offer. Um, you know, every year it gets better and better. Every year the participation increases and more people come to know about it and come to want to come and uh, exhibit here in Bahrain. And it's a, a matter of pride for me personally as a Bahraini that uh, this art fair is gaining residence and, and, and you know, gaining importance in the art world. Artbob aims to strengthen the base of art in the kingdom by empowering and educating local artists, provide them with the opportunity to showcase their skills, and this year witnessed the participation of more than 35 Bahraini artists. It's a beautiful venue for Bahraini artists to exhibit their artwork alongside international uh, talented uh, artists. Uh, you, and you get to meet those those uh, artists and galleries and you get to collaborate with them. So it's a beautiful venue, beautiful purpose. Actually, I am 30 years or 30 more than 30 years working in printmaking. But um, I'm searcher and uh, searching and see what's going on in the world. And I am one of this world, Yani. And, uh, but in this exhibition, I try to focus in my country more about the fish, about the thing which is I like, uh, which is around me. In its third edition, Art Bob presented a lineup of 15 galleries and 13 independent artists from 11 countries, each showcasing their different kinds of artwork. The purpose of the fair is uh, obviously to introduce a broader spectrum of international artists uh, to the people of Bahrain and uh, it's an absolute privilege for us to be able to participate and bring David's work over from London and put it in this new exciting context. A number of these works here are called Brothers and they represent two figures coming together uh, and the work in that capacity I think is perfectly fitted to this fair where we try to seek uh, a connection between Europe, where we come from, and of course this region uh, where we find ourselves today. The event reinforces Bahrain's position in the Gulf as a regional art hub, inspiring entrepreneurs, provide education and local skills development. ArtBob 2018 is an art fair that came with a mission to attract international galleries as well as develop Bahraini artists. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. In the framework of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's Comprehensive Development March and in the light of the results of the 2017 Government Forum held in the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in which he directed to hold workshops to develop mechanisms and identify priorities that constitute the aspirations of the Government's Action Programme 2019 to 2022. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa held a meeting today at his office in Gadebia Palace in the presence of Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and a number of ministers and officials to discuss policies and initiatives that constitute the aspirations of the Government's Action Programme according to the results of three workshops previously held. The meeting discussed the results of the workshops held in the previous months, submitted to the offices of the Deputy Prime Ministers, before adopting them in future workshops, which will be chaired by Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak next month. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak commended the efforts exerted in this field, led by the Deputy Premiers and the organisers of the coordinating meetings, which address the six aspects that underline the Government's work programme to continue working on priorities in Government plans and programmes. Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defence Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met today US Secretary of Defence James N. Mattis at the BDF Officers Club. 
Defence Minister Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalama and Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sugar Al Nuaimi also attended the meeting. The PDF's Commander in Chief welcomed the US Secretary of Defence and his accompanying delegation, hailing the deep rooted historical relations between the two countries and the continuous development these relations are witnessing in various sectors, most notably in the field of military coordination and cooperation. The meeting ended with both sides exchanging commemorative gifts. The Commander in Chief held a luncheon in honour of his guest. Also present at the meeting were the Director of the BDF at General Command Headquarters, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Inspector General, Major General Abdullah Hassan Al Nuemi, Assistant Chief of Staff for Logistics and Supplies, Naval Major General Yusuf Ahmed Malala, Commander of the Royal Bahrain Air Force, the RBAF, Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations, Major General Ghanan Ibrahim Al Fadala, Head of Bahrain's Military Justice Department, General Yusuf Rashid Flafil, along with a number of BDF senior officers. Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the activities of the Regional Forum of Natural Gas Pipeline Networks, hosted in the Kingdom. The event was organised by the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA, in cooperation with the International Gas Union, the IGU, and attended by a large number of participants. In his inaugural speech, the Minister appreciated the government's support to NOGA, attracting regional and international events to support Bahrain's National Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister highlighted the constructive cooperation between NOGA and the Executive Committees and the coordination with the IGU on international forums, aimed at promoting and strengthening the cooperation between the representatives of the organisations and industrial companies on natural gas. He also cited key topics related to transnational gas pipeline networks, welcoming Bahrain's hosting this distinguished international forum for the first time. The Regional Forum on Natural Gas Pipeline Networks was held in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the first time today under the patronage of the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The event was organized by the National Oil and Gas Authority in cooperation with the International Gas Union and attended by a large number of regional and international participants. Uh, the importance of gas is growing. It is uh, the primary source of electricity and, and water desalination. Uh, and all over the GCC, uh, the growth, projected growth in gas consumption uh, is, uh, is growing. Uh, there has been, been talks about the GCC gas grid. Uh, we, we have been successful in an electricity grid. Uh, the next initiative could be uh, a GCC gas grid. In Bahrain, uh, we have been working on diversifying our gas sources. We produce gas from the Bahrain field. We have a, a pre khuf or a deep gas discovery, which we are going to work on this year to develop. So that brings the second source of gas. And the third would be an LNG terminal that is under construction today. will be ready by the end of this year, uh, operating by next year. The participants included senior officials, experts in the industry, representatives of international organizations, governmental institutions and oil firms operating in the region under the umbrella of the IGU. This is a very important event where all GCC uh, countries attend and exchange information and insight uh, and insights on the uh, gas developments in the region. IGC is a non-profit organization that aims for uh, developing the natural gas around the world. We have uh, uh, 85 uh, years of, uh, of uh, life and for us it's very important to gather uh, people from uh, different uh, regions to have uh, different views and exchange and discuss about uh, uh, what are the benefits and the, the most challenging items for the for natural gas. Each country currently we they have their own network and they're managing it exten extensively and the whole idea of this event is to look at future maybe requirement of interlinkage uh, of the GCC countries similar to the, uh, uh, the electricity uh, sector. Uh, Oman is already uh, somehow linked already to some uh, Gulf countries like uh, the UAE through the Dolphin uh, uh, project and uh, there is a, uh, I, I guess this, com uh, this event is uh, to look at uh, similar uh, 
collaboration amongst the rest of the Gulf countries. We are very, very pleased that this event is hosting a number of experts and uh, officials from various countries in the world. We have uh, experts from the USA, uh, from Europe, uh, from Asia and from the Gulf as well. We have participation from the GCC countries, very high presentation and we are very pleased to hold this event in Bahrain. The development of the oil industry in the region is witnessing continuous strides and Bahrain is keeping up with the latest technological developments and applications to ensure its progress and attain the best results. Through these measures and more, the NOGO works to support Bahrain's national sustainable development goals led by His Majesty the King and aids in the progress and advancement of the country. The regional meeting on cross-border gas grids connects important players in the oil and gas sector in the Gulf with international experts and provides a platform for the exchange of information. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shoukh Mohammed. Under the patronage of Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Issam bin Abdullah Khalaf, Bahrain Property Brokerage Expo 2018 starts today. More in this report with Hibba Abdul Kafar. The real estate community in Bahrain celebrates the opening of the first of its kind property expo that gathers exhibitors of property developers, managers and brokers, contributing to the growth and development of the real estate sector in Bahrain. It is going to promote Bahrain as a hub for the investment in this field, which will help hopefully in the promoting the economy of Bahrain and uh, uh, strengthen its position as, uh, uh, as a financial and economic center for the uh, Gulf area. The expo aims to narrow the gap between supply and demand in the residential and commercial real estate market, serving as a platform to gather the seller and the buyer under one roof. Exposure to the Bahrain market in a number of different uh, sectors which we work in, including brokerage, uh, consultancy, relocation services, facilities and property management and maintenance services. Connecting with, with networks with real estate and with brokerage, uh, that would uh, help expand just overall the, the awareness of, of uh, real estate and, uh, and what we have to offer as, you know, as a land leaser and as a, a storage provider as well. It creates a productive platform where real estate investors and professionals can meet and interact. It was also a great opportunity for global exhibitors to reach Bahraini and GCC investors. Great way to give our company and international um, exposure to the Bahrain market. We're here to launch products um, for investment into the UK to our GCC residents and expats who are looking for opportunities for investment in the UK. Bahrain Property Brokerage Expo 2018 motivates GCC and Bahraini investors to expand or even start their careers in real estate, supporting the development of this promising sector in Bahrain. The first of its kind Property Brokerage Expo contributes to the growth and development of the real estate sector in Bahrain and provides a unique platform for sellers and buyers to meet. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffour. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Hala Al Ansari, headed the delegation of Bahrain participating in the 62nd session of the Commission in the Status of Women, which is taking place at the United Nations headquarters in New York from the 12th to the 23rd of March 2018. The event was attended by high level representatives from international organisations. Al Ansari delivered a speech in which she affirmed that the Bahraini women have already overcome the stage of women empowerment and are now a main partner in development. She highlighted Bahrain's keenness to, to continue its efforts, which are in line with the agenda of sustainable development 2030, and on the basis of equality of opportunities, which resulted in closing the gap between men and women at various jobs. She added that the event provides the opportunity for the member states to exchange expertise in the field of women empowerment. The speech noted the important achievements made by Bahrain through the Supreme Council for Women to follow up the integration of women's development needs through a national agenda that supports the stability of women and the family. In the meeting, the official opening of the Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Global Award for Women Empowerment was announced. 
The award targets public and private sector institutions, civil society and individual initiatives to assess the institutional and individual efforts towards activating women's advancement policies. Following the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 4,800 housing units to eligible recipients countrywide, the Housing Ministry said that the electronic draw on the distribution of 2,800 units located in the northern city will continue until March the 31st. The Housing Ministry stated that prior to the e-draw, the beneficiaries are informed through a video presentation about the northern city and the queries are answered. The Ministry stressed that the northern city is among the largest strategic projects currently carried out by the Housing Ministry within the 25,000 unit programme included in the Government Action Plan and emanating from His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to build 40,000 units. It highlighted the, the government's support it enjoys, noting that the government is keen to achieve the royal directives aimed at ensuring the stability of Bahraini families through harnessing all its potentials to provide them with the requirements of decent and stable life. The beneficiaries hailed His Royal Highness Crown Prince order to include the Northern City project within units to be distributed, which they said have contributed to meeting many demands. They extend its sincere thanks to the leadership and the government for their interest in the citizens and keenness on providing houses, housing services for them. The affiliates of the First Deputy Prime Minister's Fellowships Programme for the Development of National Cadres visited today Aluminum Bahrain, Alba. The Executive Management hailed the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in investing in the Bahraini youth sector through the Fellowship Programme, which affirms the role of young cadres in the public sector in effective participation in the development of the sector. During the visit, the affiliates were educated on Alba status as one of the largest international aluminium production companies and its valuable contribution to support the national economy and its vital role in the international aluminium industry. Executive Vice President Ali Bakali and a number of officials gave a presentation on the development programmes in the company, including the Sixth Line expansion project, as well as the development and training programmes for its employees, and the company's keenness to share their knowledge and experience with students and youth. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority held a press conference today chaired by Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa to announce the upcoming Disney on Ice shows. More in this report with Sheikh Mohammed. Produced by Feld Entertainment, the spectacular Disney on Ice show will be held from the 15th to the 19th of June this year at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre and features Disney's Frozen, The Little Mermaid, The Lion King and Peter Pan. The Ice show will be filled with Disney music and magic in every scene and audiences will discover four unique landscapes at the Ice show, each filled with Academy Award winning musical scores and world class skating. Having a, a, a world class event here in Bahrain attracts a lot of people, whether it's within Bahrain or within the GCC. Uh, as you know, our main uh, target market is the GCC, and therefore having a, a world-class event here in Bahrain will attract a lot of the GCC families, especially at that time. The timing of the event is during Eid al-Fitr, and that's uh, very important for us. Bahrain is, is uh, a very exciting country for us. We're very excited for bringing Dizzy on Ice for the first time ever here to the kingdom. We'll be bringing Peter Pan, Anna and Elsa from the uh, Frozen, uh, the Little Mermaid, and the Lion King. So we're very excited to come in. We'll obviously, you can see from behind me also, we'll be bringing snow and ice to Bahrain. That's not doesn't happen very often. So we're absolutely thrilled and honoured to be able to be presenting here in June, uh, start you know this coming year. Passport to Adventure will provide the audience with an opportunity to enjoy memorable performances from their favorite Disney characters, including Simba, Timon and Pumbaa, Ariel and Sebastian, Peter Pan, Wendy and Tinkerbell, as well as royal sisters Anne and Elsa from the number one animated feature film of all time, Frozen. Disney on Ice is probably the, the, the most powerful live family entertainment experience in the world. It's got the beautiful stories of Disney with the acrobatics and style and energy of the ice skaters. It's a phenomenal event. 
Um, this particular show we're bringing has got content from The Lion King, from Frozen, from Peter Pan and The Little Mermaid. So there's something in there for everybody. It's fast moving, it's energetic, it's colourful and I'm sure it, it will, we will smash records in Bahrain, inshallah. I'm so excited. Lena, we grew up with Disney characters. We know the songs, we know their movements, we know their characters. Um, yeah, and we're still excited. Hatta when we're, we grew up, we can still remember those good memories that we had when we were kids. But it's so exciting to relive those emotions again, or relive our most beautiful memories in childhood. The live performance is a highlight of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority's extensive series of events and activities that aim to attract visitors and tourists from Bahrain and the neighboring GCC countries. It also aligns with the BTEA's long-term strategy, which focuses on further developing the kingdom's tourism sector and further contributing to economic development in line with the kingdom's 2030 economic vision. Disney on Ice will have 12 live shows beginning on the 15th of June. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogh Mohammed.